Hey guys, it's Sapir and welcome to Python tutorial number 10. In this tutorial we're going to finally get on to lists, okay? So lately we've been talking a bit about sequences, um, and so far the only sequences, the only sequence we have come across um, are strings, uh, which I talked about are basically just a collection of characters, which is why they're called strings, because they're characters strung together, okay? Um, now, sequences are also known as arrays in programming languages for the reason that they have several um, elements in them. Okay. Now, the sequence we're going to look at today, as I said at the beginning, is the list. Um, the list is one of the most common uh, sequences, um, probably the second most common, uh, that is, apart from strings, uh, sequence there is in Python, um, although that's debatable really, but for now we'll stick with that. Uh, and so what it allows us to do is work with a collection of data as opposed to, so far, in regular variables we can only store one value, whereas with a sequence we can store multiple values. Uh, without strings, because again strings are sequences, we'd have to uh, print out characters one after the other, you know, using the uh, comma operator in the print function, or print statement, sorry. Uh, so that's what sequences basically allow us to do. They allow us to store things as one, as in one object, in one variable, basically. So we can have several ob several elements in under one name, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the idle. Uh, so to create a list, it's really quite simple. We have to give our list a name, of course, like most variables. I'm just going to call it my list. And then you say equals, and then two square brackets. And between here, you have a comma-separated list, or comma-separated sequence of the elements you want to be in the list. So, for example, I could have the numbers from 1 to 10 whoops, in my list. And now if I print my list, I get the numbers from 1 to 10. Uh, in lists, you can have um, mixtures of data. So you could have um, a number, a string, whoops, a boolean value, and a floating point value. Okay, that's allowed. And then you can print that list and see the values. Now, remember we talked about indexing? Uh, oh, and don't worry about this here. That, that's just a, a thing that f happens to float sometimes. It's, uh, it's a weird programming thing with floats. Don't worry about it, though. Uh, but anyway, remember how in the previous tutorials we talked about indexing strings and slicing strings and uh, multiplying strings? We didn't talk about adding strings because we'd already seen that already. But all those things actually apply to uh, lists as well. So you can obviously index a list. So if I index my list element number 5, or index number 5 I should say, I'd get element number 6, okay, which would be the number 6. In my list 1, I could index uh, 1 and get hello. Uh, whoops, that's because I forgot to put the 1 in front. There we go. That will get hello. There we go. Okay, and I can also, like I said, slice. So if I wanted from my list numbers from 1 to 5, I could do this. If I want all the even numbers, I could start at 1, go to the end, and skip every skip two steps every time. Uh, that's right, isn't it? That seems like it. Oh, whoops, I know why. I didn't put the, the list name in front. That would be why. That's probably going to cause a problem. There we go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. S uh, multiplying lists. You can, uh, if I have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I could multiply that by 5, and I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all in one list. Okay. Um and adding lists finally if i have list a is equal to oops a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b is equal to 6 7 8 9 10 
C equals A plus B. Okay, and now if I print C, I get the numbers from 1 through 10. And we can just see that A plus B is exactly the same thing. Okay, um, so that's uh, just running through everything from the previous tutorials showing you doing it with lists. Uh, now let's look at a couple of um, things about lists. The first thing is the list function. Okay, If I have, um, say I want to, I can create lists with this. I'll first show you creating lists with a list function. Uh, you have to, normally the function would look like this. Now to make a list out of it, because the list function takes only one argument, you have to enclose the list in between a, another pair of parentheses and then you can supply it the value so you could have hello world exclamation mark that's going to be my list and now my list 2 has hello world and exclamation mark um, my list let's create a new list and we'll assign it to list and I'll just have one word I'll have the word hello now the list function will actually separate every single character in that uh, string. If you just apply it one string, it separates all the characters, okay? So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's it for the list function. Now we're going to look at a few um, operations uh, which have to do with lists. Um, the first one is changing an item in the list, changing a, a list element, okay? Let's try this with the original list, my list, which has the numbers 1 through 10. I want to change uh, the first element to 0. So I just index my list 0, but then I don't run it. I say it equals, and then whatever value, in this case 0. And then print my list 0, 2, 3, 4, as you can see. And then I can reassign it back to uh, 1. And there we go. Okay. Uh, deleting elements from a list. To delete an element, it's really quite simple. Oh, and you can also. Um, oh, actually, I won't do that. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, okay, deleting from lists. Um, you can delete from uh, an element from a list by using the del keyword. Okay, and then you can uh, give the del keyword an index. So in this case. I'll delete the last element, so it will just be 1 through 9 in my list now. Let's see that now, and as expected, the 10 is gone. Okay, um, you can delete slices in a list. Uh, again, just use the del keyword, and then give it a slice of my list. So, um, let's go from let's delete all the uh, even numbers in this list okay uh, so two there we go now if I look at my list whoops my capital L list one three five seven nine no no uh, even numbers in there okay so we've seen